morning. It's uh, Sunday, February 19th. So uh, last time I, well, every time I've been splitting wood lately, I've been noticing that the seal has been leaking on my uh, splitter and it's making a spot on the floor. Not a big leak, it's a drip, but it's enough to make a spot that big on the floor. I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with Lucas products. I bought uh, cars, guy thought they were selling me a lemon with a bad transmission. And uh, you put this in it, sometimes it'll restore it. It was the uh, last one I remember was a Buick Skylark 350, 350 package. And on cold mornings, you'd sit there five minutes, have to wait for the tranny to warm up. I put that stuff in there and it just went every day. You go out, go right in the drive. The varnish, I guess, builds up on the, uh, the uh, pistons. And the piston drums and stuff. I also use the uh, universal tract oil. It's just 10 weight oil. I even use this for power steering fluid. It works great. So on the steering box, steering uh, column rather, I haven't been over to the hardware store yet so I just basically have to measure this measure the shaft and I'm going to go over and see if I can find a uh, bushing that'll fit. There'll probably be some kind of a nylon bushing that I can use. Giving a lot of thought to the bed on this. You can see there is some red and black on this bed and uh, what I'd like to do I think is keep the red patina it by wet sanding it down some uh, it's already patinaed a little bit, but the thing I'm saying is I'm going to put a orange over the top of this, just one coat of orange, just so it's all consistent, the truck, the bed, everything. And then I'll wet sand back and add my uh, patina rust. I have a formula I use, but as far as the black fenders, kind of gives me an idea of doing this truck in orange and black black fenders orange on the cab and the, the tailgate and the bedsides and stuff that's I don't know see I go through this process with my brain where I try to figure out what I want to start with I mean when I started with this it was going to be an all original and then it ended up being this military version and this this was just piles of crap anyway so but that's the thinking process I'm going through today. Me and Lucky are out here brainstorming. I throw an idea at her and she kind of gives me a look saying, hmm, looks good or no, maybe not. It's good to have a consultant like Lucky. So you see what's going on. I got to split some wood. Although the weather's a little bit mild, I got to stay ahead of the wood. And uh, keep going on this. I put the, uh, let you see, uh, put the air shocks in and I put the uh, differential cover back on so nice air shocks out of the Impala it wasn't easy getting that bow tie out let me tell you I thought it was going to be a snap pressing those bow ties out of the top of those shocks but I actually had to take a half inch drill and drill out the rubber to make it big enough so I could put it on but you know have a will have a way out from Rusty Road Island. 